different from other parts of the city. Uh, I just want to um, reflect on the, the real challenges uh, that we're looking at here. There's a real issue, and, and uh, a lot of what's been said already is, has been covered, so I really don't want to travis that. I think there's going to be a high degree of agreement uh, here tonight on, on a number of the issues. But uh, for us, the, one of the issues that we've really confronted, and where I think that we need to deliver, and uh, Simon has touched on it briefly, was the need for us to have uh, a real collaboration and partnerships involved in the development of our sports clubs, amenities and facilities. And so in Papatoto, for example, we've been able to bring together eight clubs, basically from right across the sporting spectrum, to rationalise their administrational costs, uh, to pull their clubs together, in effect, to, give by, to say goodbye to their own facilities that they've had. For example, with the Papatoto Cricket Club and Pro Gary Troop, he had to kiss goodbye to his 100-year-old pavilion. So there has been a, a high level of agreement and rationalisation of these clubs to enable the better good, the, the longer term benefit to, to really derive from these clubs working together in a rationalised manner. The ability for financial sustainability uh, for clubs is, in my view, the key major issue for us going forward in terms of sport. And the second issue is around how we deal with youngsters, basically pulling out of school, not connecting straight into sport afterwards. So that issue again, I uh, refer you back to the comments that I've made with regard to John Walker and his Field of Dreams. Every single one of their kids active involved in sport and recreation tie a total strategy incorporating all the agencies, all the government agencies, the NGOs, the sports clubs in a region-wide focus on ensuring that every single one of our kids are active involved in sport and recreation, put minimal costs in front of them. What's the use of having swimming pools, recreation centres and sports fields if you charge them to get on it? You're only going to get half the numbers of people who are presently using the sports facilities in our community in the south. The issue of funding and costing is a huge one. It requires prioritisation. I certainly want to bring that type of prioritisation through in the regional level, and I want us to have a debate about that. Thank you.